if you've lifted your Tacoma, put bigger tires on it, then most likely your speedometer is not calibrated correctly. Your speed's gonna be off, your miles per gallon might possibly be off, and the miles you're putting on the vehicle could be inaccurate. What is going on? If you do not know me and you're new here, my name's Chris. This is the Fortune Taco. You can find me on Instagram over at Fortune Taco AZ. On this channel, I like to create videos that are related to my 2021 TRD off-road Tacoma, like product installs, product reviews, off-road adventures with the truck, or any meets that I attend or host myself. So what I have here today and what I'm gonna be installing is gonna be the speedometer calibrator from Hypertech. I will have a link for this in the description below if you wanted to go and pick this up yourself. It is a very, very simple install to do. It is just a plug and play harness that we're gonna be putting in the truck. So what is gonna come in the kit? The main thing is gonna be this wiring harness. What we need to do is pull out the speedometer this is gonna plug into the back of it, then gonna plug into the actual speedometer calibrator. Now what we need to do with this before we go and install it in the truck, we need to calibrate this. And then after we have that calibrated and programmed correctly, we will take these two components together and install them in the vehicle. And I'll show you how easy that could be done. This is a very simple task. For the first step here, head over to the Hypertech website. I will have a link for both the product and the software download in the description below. They're both off the same website. Install that software and then we can get to programming the calibrator. Now with the software open, we are gonna use the supplied USB cable from Hypertech. Now, once that's plugged in, the system will read it. We are successfully connected here to the calibrator. What you need to do is fill out some of the boxes here. So like on mine, it's asking for the year, make and model of my vehicle. So with, with this, one thing I didn't explain, if you upgrade your tire size, this is good for that. If you also re-gear the vehicle, this is good to change the calibration for re-gearing. So on this one, you can use the factory tire size, um, or you can then choose to change adjusting to a tire size or gears. So on this one, I'm gonna check the box. It says tires are not stock. It's gonna ask for the old tire size, and then it's also gonna ask for the new tire size. So what we need to do is go over to the truck and right inside the driver's door here, you're gonna have your factory tire sizing. So for my truck, 2021 TRD Off-Road is gonna be a 265-70R16. 265-70-16. And then we need to tell it what the new tire size is so it knows what we're upgrading to. Mine's upside down, probably can't see it, but I am running 285-70-R-17s. 285-70-R-17. Now, after you've input that, there's a second box for you to check if your gears are not stock. If you've done a gear swap, you'll wanna check that. You're gonna input the old gear ratio to the new gear ratio. Now that I've had the tire sizes input, the very bottom left, I'm gonna click the program module button. After I've clicked that button and it's updated it, at the very top it says module was successfully programmed. So we then will go ahead and unplug the calibrator. And now we are good to go to the next step and plug this into the vehicle with that plug and play wire harness. So we need to go into the driver's compartment, gain access to the backside of your speedometer. If you have not done this before, it sounds intimidating, but it is not hard at all. There's a couple trim pieces to pop out, a couple screws, and then that pulls out pretty simple and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Gently pull until this piece comes off. On the left side, we wanna do the same thing. You're gonna pull on this vent trim right here. This is gonna be connected to a piece that goes around the speedometer. Now, the next thing we need to do to actually pull this out, there's four screws we need to take out. Two in the top, and then one down in each bottom corner. I don't know how easy you can see those. There are little silver screws down there. So this is gonna be a tight space to work with. What I did was pull my steering wheel all the way out and down just to give me a little bit more room to work with. There are two wires plugged into the back of here. This one is kind of a smaller wire loom over here, which would be on the driver's side. On the passenger side, there's one that's a little larger. So the one that's further on the right side, which would be passenger side, that's the one you're gonna wanna remove to install our plug and play harness. There's just a little tab on the top of it. Press that with your thumb and this will pull out. On one end of the calibrator, you're gonna have this port, which matches the wiring harness that comes off of the plug and play harness. The end that comes out of the back of the speedometer is a male plug. Plug that into the female end. 
And then we're gonna take the other end and plug that back into the speedometer. Now with that plugged in, you just need to clean the wires up. Hypertech does include a couple of zip ties if you choose to use them. Try to just tuck this away somewhere back in here that'll work and not interfere with the speedometer when you put that back in. Now with the speedometer installed back in the truck, it's time to get the two trim pieces put back on. Then we're gonna go take this for a test drive and make sure what we did worked. right now just rolling through the neighborhood at a slower speed doing 25 miles an hour my speedometer and the gps are just about a mile per hour off so we'll see if when i increase the speed if that changes or if it stays the same so now that we have actually gotten up to highway speeds i have it set on cruise control the speedometer on the truck is saying I'm doing 80 miles per hour. My Garmin GPS is saying I'm doing 78 miles an hour. So once we take that speed up to 80, it's showing it's about two miles per hour off. But now my truck used to say I was doing six to seven under. It's now showing about one to two miles an hour over. So it's not pinpoint on accurate. And I'm also going based off the GPS. So I don't know how accurate that is, but I did see a change in the miles per hour and i would rather have it a little over rather than under so it keeps me from speeding or getting myself in trouble not that you can really speed or go that fast in a tacoma to begin with so that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video installing the hypertech speedometer calibrator on the Tacoma. If you have any questions for me, anything in general related to the truck, the product I installed today, or videos you would like to see me make, leave it down in the comments below. If you enjoy the content I make just like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd consider giving me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future videos I create. I appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end. I will see you in the next video.